What's going on guys? So today I wanted to bring you something, uh, basically something that's been announced I want to talk about, and it involves these two games. So here we got The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and here we have ARMS. Two of my favorite games in the system. Uh, if you guys know me, um, you know I'm a huge Zelda fan. Zelda is my favorite series of anything ever, um, so you know I've had to get this day one. Uh, I I have this game four different times. Um, I have it for the Wii U, the misprint cover. I have, this is the one that came with the uh, special edition. I also had a mass, I mean, I, I tracked down a master edition, and then I recently got the Explorer's edition. So I've bought this game four times just because I'm that big of a Zelda fan. Put well over 260 hours into it. Um, yeah, and then ARMS. If you guys have been subscribed to me for a while you know that I love this game you would know even more if you follow me on Twitter because I talk about the game a lot on there I show a lot of video clips and screenshots and I retweets and other stuff about the game I've been supportive of arms from day one I've been supportive of the game ever since it was announced back in January and uh, I'm still supportive of the game so what I want to talk about these two games basically is the fact that the DLC for both these games is complete. That's been recently announced uh, separately, of course. I mean, obviously, it wasn't in one. It wasn't in one announcement, but they both came out. Um, the announcements for both these games came out about the same time as per the DLC and the content. Um, as you guys know, Breath of the Wild, 1999 expansion pass announced at the beginning of the year, right before the game came out. Uh, you got some goodies for getting the expansion pass. Then you had DLC Pack 1, the Master Trials, back in June. I believe it was June. I want to say it was like June 30th. Um, and then you had DLC Pack 2, the Champion's Ballad, just recently came out uh, this month, the same night as the Game Awards. So, yep. And then for ARMS, ARMS didn't have any paid DLC. ARMS had basically what Splatoon and Splatoon 2 do, which is... Um, Basically, every other month or so, they, they just have a huge content update uh, that has new content. So, in the vein of ARMS, you got usually got a new character, you got new stages, new modes sometimes, um, and then new ARMS as well. And as well as some balances, of course, and different other odds and ends here and there. So, made the experience a lot better. So, ARMS has been very supportive, and they it's all been free. That's another thing. It's all been free. So, a lot of people have been talking trash about ARMS. Um, what do I think about these two games DLCs ending? Um, let me talk about Zelda first. Let me get Zelda out of the way, because Zelda, I have a lot less to actually say about it, as shocking as it is. Zelda, the game is complete. I mean, the game was already complete without even out the DLC, but the DLC does add some really bo nice bonuses to it. That's what I like about Nintendo's DLC, is they do it in a way that it's... I don't, I, don't, I don't know how, how to describe it. You, The content isn't held back. You can tell the complete $60 experience is already on the game card without the DLC. But, see, it's very hard to make DLC because of the fact that it's like, okay, well, is it... You need something that can justify the purchase that isn't just, like, something dumb, like, you know, some costume skins or something. You need something that will justify the purchase, but at the same time, you don't want to make the main game itself look you know, non-substantial. So you want to be able to hit that balance. Nintendo did that with this game because the DLC in here is really substantial on its own, but at the same time, it doesn't undermine the value of the main game itself. So that's what I like about it. Uh, they spread it out throughout the year, which was nice. That, that right there tells you that they had extra development time after the game came out to develop this. It wasn't content that was held back. It wasn't on the disc like Capcom does, you know. It was brand new content they made. Uh, I've already completed the second DLC pack, the Champions Ballad. Um, I completed that just actually a few days ago. Um, beautiful, beautiful. Gives you a couple extra hours of game time. Several different shrines, a brand new dungeon. Um, really, really awesome, especially uh, some new uh, story cutscenes as well that uh, shed a light on the champions a bit, which was very nice, very emotional. So I'm not going to spoil it, but it's 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 worth it. It's very much worth it. Uh, I like this DLC update a bit more than the first one, but the first pack was still pretty good in itself as well. Because um, the first one had things like the Korak mask and such, which were really, really nice. 
But um, personally, I think for twenty dollars, it was more than worth it. What I liked about it, though, is like I said, it, it really showed this game's journey from beginning of the year to the end of the year. Because let's be honest, this game played a huge role in the success of the Switch. A lot of people, because there's a lot of, there's also a lot of Breath of the Wild, you know, the vocal minority haters out there nowadays. They'll say, "Oh, it was Mario. Mario was the better game." It's all opinion, but Mario wasn't there from the beginning. Mario wasn't the one that sold um, like almost 100% attach rate with the console on launch day back in March. Mario wasn't there. Um, Mario was done well on its own, yes, but this is the game that was the forefront of the Switch launch. This is the game that defined the Switch's launch. Um, and in a minor role, it also was the swan song for the Wii U. So... Uh, to see them celebrate this game from beginning of the year to, to the end is magnificent. Magnificent, I think it was well done. Arms. Now here's something, I do feel like it was cut a bit short. Um, I don't feel like that they cut it short on purpose. I just feel like, um, they could have definitely had it go on longer. Um, Splatoon 2 is still going to be going on with some content updates for how long, we don't really know. They said something about, like, uh, a year at least, and then like two years for Swatfest or something, but, um, you know, we'll see. Splatoon 1 went around for almost a year, so this got about seven months. About seven months when you really think about it. Uh, you had June, um, you know, July, August, September, October, November, December. So about uh, seven months of content, and it's all been free. And it's all been very substantial. So I think it's great. A lot of people said this game wasn't $60 when it first came out. I've always disagreed with that because of the fact that fighting games... It's a, it's a brand new IP for a fighting game series. You know, so I've always felt like it's been well, well, well worth the cost. And now with all the extra content, it's definitely worth the cost. Um, people who are buying this game now, you know, getting it for Christmas, they're going to have all this content already at their fingertips. And it's amazing. Really amazing. Um... But ever since the game came out, people have pretty much said it's dead. Like, oh, ARMS is dead. Oh, only seven people bought it. Like, I always see people say on, on Twitter, like, oh, so this, this new update will be good for the seven people who bought it. It's the sixth best-selling Switch game. And it's it's constantly selling. Um, it, it, does it sell on the level of Zelda? No. Does it, Is it, like, as big of a multiplayer game as something like Splatoon 2? No. No. Not everything needs to be. Just because something's not the next Smash Brothers doesn't necessarily mean that it's automatically a failure. You know, there is a middle ground for these things that people don't realize. People think, oh, it's got to be this huge success all the way at the top. Otherwise, it's all the way at the bottom. No, no, there's a middle ground, you know. Go on Twitter, you know, go on Reddit. You know, there's places all over the internet. There's actually dedicated fan sites and everything. And there's big tournaments in Japan for this game. Um, there's 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 lots of lots of people that are really excited for Arms. They love the game. It has a huge uh, huge fan base for it. Um, it. It's just how it is. And I can understand people who say they don't care for the game. Like they played it, it wasn't their thing. Fine, that's cool. You know, I'm not saying you have to like it, but because you don't like it doesn't mean that it's dead you know just because you don't like it doesn't mean that it's not worth sixty dollars just because you don't like it doesn't mean that all the content updates aren't substantial you know it's just people think that just because they don't like it it doesn't appeal to them that suddenly they speak for everyone that's not true again i made a video which has gotten many dislikes because people are very salty. People who probably never even played the game. People who probably never even played the uh, test punch when it went out. Who just disliked the video. Even though I showed proof of me connecting to multiple rooms in the same night. Showing many people playing online. Showing the party crash event that was going on. So, the game's not dead. As far as the content, yes, it's complete, but there will still be balance patches in the future. They've already said that. Um, there's already more tournaments planned uh, in Japan and elsewhere. Uh, the game, already, like I said, has a huge, huge um, following. There's people that do the, that play this on Twitch. There's uh, there's arms discords, so on and so forth. There's just a lot of uh, little mini groups that play this game and set up tournaments and everything. So the game will be supported for a while. 
um, people are still buying it, especially now with the holiday season. People are buying it. Um, and I, what I don't think people realize is there's still, like, after they announced that the DLC was, or not the DLC, but the content was complete, they announced the next party crash for New Year's, which is, you know, Master Mummy versus Twintel. So if the game was really dead, why would they even announce another party crash when the other last two were a huge success, you know? Um, do I wish the game went on longer? Yes, I do. But I can see why they're cutting it short because of the fact that a lot of people don't realize the team that made this game at Nintendo is the same team behind Mario Kart. So they had to pretty much... What they pretty much did was... They had to divide the team when they made Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, um, even though that was a port. So a majority of the team were work, was working on ARMS, and that same team was the ones making the, the, the updates. Well, we don't have a proper Mario Kart sequel on the Switch. My guess is, because they already said the team's moved on to the next project. My guess is they're going to be working on Mario Kart 9. That's just my guess. Either that or an ARMS 2. Or maybe even uh, a brand new IP, you know, or maybe they have their hand on another game. Like, I, I would love to see this team take on, let's say, a brand new Next Generation F-Zero. Or maybe a brand new Wave Race, you know. That would be really cool to see the Mario Kart and ARMS team tackle something like that. That'd be really cool. So we don't know, but I can appreciate the fact that the content's complete, but the game's still going to be supported. The game's not discontinued. It's still selling. They're still making online events for it. There's still fans doing tournaments and doing groups and all sorts of things for it. Um, and it has players. I can jump on right now and play some online matches right now with multiple rooms. I do it all the time. I've put in, you know, almost 50 hours into this game. It's one of my most played Switch games. I love the game. I personally love it more than Splatoon 2. And I loved Splatoon when that first came out. I supported that. I supported that from day one when everyone said that was going to be a failure, and it wasn't. Um, now I'm here again saying the same thing about ARMS. ARMS is definitely not a failure. It's been shown. It's not the wildly phenomenon success like Splatoon is, but it's still a success nonetheless. And I think people need to realize that. So basically with these two games, I'm 100% satisfied with Zelda. I wish we could get a little more content with ARMS, but... There's so much content already that I'll be playing this game for so many years to come. Game's awesome. We'll be playing it online. We'll be playing it single player. And we'll be playing it with friends as well. Because uh, get-togethers here, you know, local co-op and local um, um, multiplayer, you know, four four-person battles and 2v2s and stuff. Very, very fun. Especially all the modes. Um, I play with friends all the time. Split screen. It's amazing. It's awesome. So I'll definitely be playing this for many years to come. My guess is... This was 2017. We need to look to the future, 2018, because there's lots of games that they're going to be working on. Um, they already confirmed the next Zelda's in the works, so the next Zelda's going to be coming in a couple of years. Um, whether it's going to be like this or, you know, what have you, we don't exactly know. We do know Anuma said something about he's got many new ideas, as well as he feels like the open-air version of Zelda that debuted with the Breath of the Wild he feels like that's going to be the norm going forward. We'll see because he said the same thing about motion controls with Skyward Sword. But either way, I'm excited. Uh, and I'm excited to see what the ARMS and Mario Kart team does after this. Because, like I said, it's it, it, it's nice to see the game supported. But they've been supported well enough as it is. It is time to move on and see what these teams can create as far as new games, new projects, you know, um, new sequels or new IPs. It's just, it'll be really interesting. Especially because these are very... Two very talented teams for the Nintendo within the game industry as a whole. And I just can't wait to see what's coming from them in 2018 and beyond. So that's my take on the whole DLC wrap-up on these games. Let me know what you guys think. Leave some comments below. And as always, I will catch you guys later.